Hello, Cassandra. Uh, this will be some video feedback for you. Um, milestone two. We've got two weeks left. If you need any help with anything, don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, Cassandra, um, I like this very much. It's it's very detailed, and <clears throat> you've got um, you you paid you know clearly paid some time or attention to um, your movement. And have exploited, I think, you know, some of the things that you can do uh, animating uh, a small area like this. I think um, I like the typeface you chose for the beginning. Is that a version of Arial with soft terminals? Just curious. I, however, I'm not crazy about this type. It does seem squashed. And um, think about what you need uh, for the ad. Do you, do you really need the URL at the end there, for example? I also enjoyed your silhouettes and the way that you uh, color corrected them uh, to go with the rest of the palette. Um, perhaps that could remain a constant. And think of this as a little drama, okay? Perhaps um, one way of approaching it would be, okay, so I'm going to have a 10 second drama. Uh, it's going to have a beginning or a, a what do you call it, a, a yeah, I guess a, a beginning. It's going to have a crescendo, you know, maybe a, uh, and then a, a denouement. Okay, so think of it as a little drama uh, that plays out on the screen using, you know, type in your imagery um, to draw attention. What is this white bar across the top here? It appears in some frames right there. Oh, it's an arrow. Is that pointing to the special? Huh, it's nice. It's, uh, it's subtle, which is not bad. But uh, just know that uh, I was curious to know at first what it was. All right, I'm going to open it in Photoshop uh, to see what your file structure is like. Uh, Cassandra, um, your file structure looks great. You've got every, even your effects on, you know, their own layers, and they're quite involved. Um, so, you know, kudos to you for having a handle on all that. Again, you know, perhaps simplify. And it looks like you also have a handle on um, the animation feature. You've got, what, six keyframes, and you've learned how to vary their duration. Um, here's a you know a little technique for smoothing out transitions. It's called tweening. You might consider it. Um, and let's just see what we get. You know, I'm I'm applying this uh, willy nilly. And forgive me if I offend you, but um, let's just slow it down to maybe like two tenths of a second. Back it up, and let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it fades in a little bit. I'm not sure most of that was beyond that. But anyway, uh, you might you know consider refining um, the movement with transition frames, but again, it's totally up to you, just to give you something to do. Uh, good job, really.